In this tutorial, we shall look at uh, precision and uh, accuracy. Two terms that are often used to describe the reliability of a measurement are precision and uh, accuracy. Accuracy is defined is defined as the degree of agreement between a measured value and the true value. Precision is defined as the degree of agreement among replicate measurements of the same quantity. Good precision does not assume good accuracy. For example, if there is if there were a systematic error in the analysis, the two terms can be illustrated in the following diagrams. Suppose you are target practice and all your gut flows land or land here or the bullets if you shoot and all your bullets land here on the target in air this means that you are both precise and accurate in this case, it means there are small random errors and no systematic errors. You continue practicing in B. In B. You miss the target, then oil bullets land there. In this case, it means you are precise. You are precise, but inaccurate. This simply means there are small random errors. and large systematic errors. In C, in C, you scatter all the bullets or dirt flaws are scattered. In this case, it means you are neither precise nor accurate. Means there are large random errors. This is poor technique. So this is how we can differentiate uh, between accuracy and uh, precision. Two main classes that two main classes of errors that affect precision and accuracy are 
random errors and systematic errors. A random error, also known as indeterminate, indeterminate error, means that means that a measurement has an equal probability 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 of being high or low. This error always occurs in estimating the last digit of a measurement. E.g., when five students or let's say five uh, people measure the volume as 25.23, Milliliter 25.25 milliliter 25.26 milliliter then 25.27 milliliter. The first three numbers are the same, so these are certain digits, but the last one is an estimate. So this is where now the Random error can occur in trying to estimate the last value. Two, systematic error. The other name for systematic error is determinant. Determinant error. This error. always occurs in the same direction in the same direction each time it can either be high or, or low. So in case if you use or suppose you are measuring or weighing some samples using a defected balance, suppose you weigh sodium hydroxide pellets using a defected balance and you have the mass of let's say 4.586 grams 4.587 grams 4.585 grams 4.584 grams so these are precise measurements or the weights are precise but since the balance is defected, there is a systematic error. So this is the reason why we say good accuracy does not affect, I mean good precision does not affect, good precision does not assume good accuracy. In cases where there is no systematic error, that is now when you can assume that good precision assumes good accuracy. In the next tutorial, we'll look at significant figures and calculations. Thank you.